It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Houston Texans and the Carolina Panthers. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Charlotte at rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Carolina Panthers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. As CD folks are excited here in Carolina. They have been since March 10th. That being the day that the Panthers traded up with the Bears for the right to select Alabama's Bryce Young first overall. And selected first overall, they did. And not only that, during the free agent period, the rest of the draft, they also tried to surround this young quarterback with extra talent, trying to get him activated early so he can be a starter from day one. Meanwhile, for the Texans, things are changing rapidly in the Space City. They've got the new coach and D'Amico Ryans coming over from the Niners. They made two big splashes on draft night, but fixing the defense seems a priority. And remember the 2022 draft? They took a lot of guys on that side of the ball. So maybe we just need a little bit more seasoning with some of the talent that they've accumulated. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. There he goes left side. Now he's loose at the 40, and he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. A big play there on the first play of the game, 48 yards. A wet track like this, I don't know if it helps anybody, but it probably helps the offensive player running the ball more than the defense. And while they're doing that, there's also the matter of focus, not letting the elements get in the way of still doing everything you're supposed to do. Although you do think to yourself, I've got to hold it a little bit tighter and be more careful with my footing. He was careful, got a big run out of it. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. a look for the end zone but that one's gonna wind up incomplete he took a shot there but boy was that ill-advised from my viewpoint coverage was awfully tight how did he get away with that would not being picked off second and ten now from the 27 running it out of the gun with Pierce and he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers' 18-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Stroud now on third and two. He's got his man. That's Dell. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now here's Stroud. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. 
You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. The point after through the raindrops up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. Bryce Young, the quarterback out of Alabama with a Heisman Trophy in his hip pocket, is the new face of Carolina football. 80 touchdowns, just 12 picks in his college career for the Crimson Tide. He may be a little small in terms of size, but potential, massive. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That throw by Young incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be Young again. Open man is Thiele is complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. They go play action. Young. And his throw is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. To throw, Young. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And that is no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. 
This time, though, he's unable to convert. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I and mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Stroud on third down now. This will be caught by Brown. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. From the 20, here's second and nine. Looking to throw, Young. He's got Mingo. So they will wave off the flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the game. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, right at the 40. Another run here with Sanders. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And not much running room. Down to the 32. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Young on third and two. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Going for it with Sanders. Sanders shaking and breaking. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Heck of a fourth and short conversion. They end up getting north of 20 yards. They were certainly in field goal range, opted to go for it. Hey, they were able to pick it up. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, but look at it this way. The kicker had missed one before, so they decided to stay out and go for it, and it worked. But now, just one missed field goal and you're not trusting him? 
he'll be visiting the team psychiatrist this week because he's going to want some answers about why they wouldn't put him back up. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! Tommy Trimble, a nine-yard touchdown ground. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Houston set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during the series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again on second down, it's Stroud. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. Into space at the 45. Still going. He's on his way. Robert Woods. Touchdown, Houston. Robert Woods. 79 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead. See, it's a pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. Oh, he doesn't quite make it down at the one-yard line. As close as he could possibly get, but still, what a return. And partner, not only is he kicking himself right now, He's going to petition the league for 99-yard fields. That's almost not fair to get it that far and not get into the end zone. Nevertheless, a great return. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. Sanders is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Second and 10 now from the 27. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 76 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Pierce takes it straight ahead. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Stroud out of the gun here. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track they've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense now on fourth down it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15 yard line They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing, Young. And that is incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Desmond King back deep. They juked him.
give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. And now out comes Houston. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First and 10, it's Pierce. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. The elements here are definitely going to be a factor. You're going to have some drop balls playing in conditions like this. Yeah, you got to minimize them as best you can. That means 100% of your focus has got to be on making the catch, not on what you do afterwards. Look it all the way in first. Here's Stroud. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 23, here's second down and eight. Here's Young from the shotgun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On play action, Young. And he's got first, his tight end. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. 
Another run with Sanders. He stiff arms it. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Panthers on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Young now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Here is Young. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 22 yards there, a first down. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the Rook with a heck of a catch. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pierce now up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Getting to the ball that time was Jeremy Chin. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Singletary going to get the handoff. And he's in for the score. Touchdown. Texans. Devin Singletary, a five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. 
That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Carolina. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Now you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And able to get this out to the 25. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, <laughs> he's a big time receiver in this league. So the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guy's trying to cover him. They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. And Pierce gets it again on second down, and he'll get about three up past the 25. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Stroud working out of the gun. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's returnable now for Smith. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 34 yards on the return. And for a moment, looked like he had a shot to go all the way. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. This offense returns to the field. And the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board 
behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Young to throw it. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And Young's throw there incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will tie us at 24 all. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Stroud looking to throw. Pass complete downfield. It's Pierce inside the 20. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Young to throw again on second and ten. His throw incomplete. 
This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. The Panthers on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and 10. Out of the gun, it's Young. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Here's King. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And here comes the Texans now. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and 10, Stroud to throw yet again here. Caught left side, here's Dell. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. On third down, here's Pierce. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Set to punt, here's Cameron Johnston. Here's Smith to return it. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 86 yards on the ground for him so far. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The play fake. Now Young. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge, and they complete the pass there for another first down. Young on first down. That is taken in by Hurst. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. Yeah. 
It's Young off play action. And his throw here is incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Young will set to throw. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Houston's offense taking over again as we eat closer and closer to intermission. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Stroud. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Stroud on third down now. This is caught. It's Woods. He may go. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Houston. Robert Woods with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans had six to their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Had three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. 
Now the Panthers and Miles Sanders headed out for another drive. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very... Oh, Young loses it. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Robert Woods and the Texans back out there. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here, we're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarterback to win it accurately, people to block for the quarterback, so many other variables. But boy, he's getting it done and in a big way. Right now, he wants to rock on every snap. Yeah, he's counting his yards in the hundreds, not the tens. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And Stroud now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Pierce. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Carolina getting set to take the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the shotgun, it's Young. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw, Young. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Texans will take over. Damian Pierce taking the field with the rest of the Texans offense. He has been a factor in a multitude of ways. Over 100 yards rushing. He's approaching that number in the receiving category, too. And you know why I've always respected guys who can have these types of games? As a runner, 
you're going through a pile, people raking at the football all the time, your hands take a beating, okay? And to be able to still go out and catch the football in open field after going through that, that guy's dynamite. He's been dynamite in this game so far. We'll see defensively if they have an answer because they need to come up with something. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. Second and 10, here's Stroud. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Stroud out of the gun here. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch called for, no gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And they will take over first and 10. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. That throw by Young incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here. And that's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing... It's a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Young. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The Panthers gonna use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Young looks to throw on first down. And this is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And it's second down. Here's Young from the shotgun. Dancing to his left. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. It's 
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Nice run from Sanders to accomplish a couple of long-awaited firsts last season in Philadelphia. Finally broke 1,000 yards and had 11 touchdowns to help reach his first Pro Bowl. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Young. That is caught by Thielen. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Adam Thielen. 63 yards. And the Panthers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's back to an eight-point game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Adam Thielen. To the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Texans offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. 
I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. A shotgun snap to Stroud. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Stroud. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes... That means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 46, here's the second and eight. Young now. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's going to have to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Young. Open. Man is Mingo. He's got him. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 33. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory. Down at the 33. They'll run with Sanders. Working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Looking to throw, Young. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Adam Thielen with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. 
And the Panthers have come back to make it a two-point game. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Well, Bryce and that Panthers offense, they're going to stay out there and go for two. They'll turn to Sanders, and he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans back out there and ready to go. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Got his man, Dell. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Stroud working out of the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So they look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He's got his man. That's Dell. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Stroud. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and nine. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. 
That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Now Stroud. And incomplete on the deep ball. Sure, that pass was incomplete as it made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Cameron Johnston now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Now a first down throw for Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now they show Jet Sweep and instead are right up the middle here. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as we get this up to the 25. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First down, Young. He's got Mingo. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and three. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be brought down. Looks like right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Man in motion left, Mingo. Now Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner, but after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but 
let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Houston set to take over. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside? to make that tackle for a loss. Stroud looking to throw. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Corner blitz that time by J.C. Horn, and he got home and dropped him. Now Charles dealing with a third and long, they'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum, but all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. certainly a little bit different because on the previous play he was sacked this time protection a lot better had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston fair catch called it's taken in right at the 20 yard line It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Young to throw it. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. He completes this one to Mingo. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That third down conversion, good for 23. I tell you what, third and 10, you look over and you've got that punt team getting loose on the sideline. So that puts added importance on this play. You certainly don't want to see them on the field. And after a couple of incompletions, third time's the charm as they get the hook up here and pick up the first down. They'll throw again. Young, short throw underneath to Hurst. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. Shotgun snap and then to give to Sanders. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Second down, Young. Throw left side, gonna be caught by Chanel. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down, Young from the gun. And that will be incomplete. 
that open man that time, but end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this one is no good. He missed it. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty. And now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post. And this thing could be over. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down. On second down, it's Stroud. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now here's Stroud on third down. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And the fumble recovery certainly has put them in the driver's seat. First and ten, all tied here in the fourth. Young now, after the fumble recovery. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Another run with Sanders. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. A gain of three, second down. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Running right, here's Sanders. Gets past one man. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he's got a touchdown, Panthers. Miles Sanders, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Panthers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up the secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Stroud, right side complete. That's Woods. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. On second down, here's Pierce. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 43, here's second down and two. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Woods, the receiver, in motion left. Another carry for Pierce. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And how about that on third down? So many different directions an offense can go. Throw it out wide to the receivers, get it to their speedy running back. They changed up everything and handed it to the fullback, and he surprised them all and picked up a first down. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. The second down throw now from Stroud. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. Up, the 
But Charles here trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 31, here's second and nine. Stroud now on second down. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already 2-2 two two on third down conversions on this drive. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. Stroud. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him He's got second and third down to fall back on. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Stroud to throw it. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Robert Woods from eight yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it ends with a Robert Woods touchdown reception. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. This offense returns to the field. And former Penn State star Miles Sanders, we're going to look at him. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of <laughs> know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Sanders here as they run out of the gun, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. He's going to loft one deep left side here. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, you may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Here's Young. Well, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Now Young. And this one is incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. They'll come up first and 10 here. Stroud. Got his man, it's Woods. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first down. Now Stroud. And his throw here is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Stroud. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the offense for the Panthers here, getting the football back. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Here's a second and seven. Young. And his throw is incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation. This is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Now Young. And that is incomplete. 
The protection really holding up that time. That's what you want in the two-minute drill, but the coverage equally is good. Yeah, I'd say it was protection both sides, right? Get it for the quarterback, make sure he had time to throw the football, and he did. Plenty of time, but nowhere to go with it downfield. So the coverage, as you noted, terrific. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's King. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. This is first and 10. Stroud to throw it. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Incomplete pass there is probably the best scenario going because if he catches the football, clock's probably going to run out in that situation. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Stroud. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one more untimed attempt. And his kick is good! Despite the rainstorm, a good snap, a good hold, and the kick went through. And the Texans are going to win the football game. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. Yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.